Hi everyone, in this video to show you how to design a rectangular wave guide. So the rectangular wave guide will be something like this and we will show you the S parameter. Okay, the cutoff frequency at 6.56 for WR90. So you can refer to WR90. This is the S band, WR90. And the dimension is here in mm. Okay, so the cutoff frequency will be 6.56 and I will show you the calculation how to calculate the 6.56 how to get the cutoff frequency in then the simulation will be at 8.2 to 12.4 for the BR90 in S band okay so for the design so you can see it's a rectangular here okay with the port 1 and port 2 with the port okay and the dimension here is follow the data sheet this will be 10.16 for the width and the length will be 22.86 so you can see here 22.86 and 10.16 so we can view the s parameter here okay so you can view here is like the cutoff frequency is at 6.56 and this operate at 8 to 12.4 gigahertz okay it's like starting from 8.2 to 12.4 gigahertz Okay, so next we're going to view the impedance. So impedance at 10 gigahertz will be 500 ohm, and the cutoff frequency is around like 6.55, and the VSWR is near to one. Okay, it's good. And then the 2D we can view on the E field. Okay, so you can see how it's radiated. You can click on here quarter yeah so you can view inside inside how it's ready here okay so for this right you need to set your background the boundary condition here is open 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 because we design this using solid is like PEC that means it's like a perfect conductor okay so so now I will show you how to design first you go to new project here just click on new template microwave antenna and then next choose the waveguide next time domain and the dimension is mm and here we're going to set like 5 to 13 gigahertz and next okay so done okay so it's easy so first you just go to modeling here click on the brick just click on escape we can name this as waveguide so we can set the dimension inside a here b and the length okay so it's pc and then we're going to set the a and b is follow the data sheet here a and b here so you can view inside the waveguide something like this so they will have the a and b here okay so A will be like 22.86 and B will be like 10.16. Okay, so now we go to CST here, we go preview. Okay, A will be like 22.86 and B will be like 10.16. Okay, the length we can say like 50, like 5 cm. So okay, now we have the brick. So press okay. Now we have the brick and we're going to make it hollow. So something like this okay then we're going to just click on the pick face front here and the behind okay and then we click on shape tools and then shell solid or thickness of seed okay so when you click on this then we click outside because we want the thickness at outside that means something like we have the wave guide port so the thickness is outside here so we want to have like a casing the thickness will be outside so let's go back here we outside let's say we make it like 1 mm preview yeah you can see the thickness is like increase 1 mm here as a casing if you put inside that means they will reduce the dimension okay so we put outside then okay so done so we can check the dimension by clicking the big face here the line 10.16 and the line will be like 22.86.
Okay, so now we're done. Then we're going to click on the phrase here, the line width, and the length for create the wave guide port. Okay, so now we have like port one here, and then we're going to create another one, port two. We've got port here and port two. So now we have port one and port two. Okay, so the frequency is 5 to 13 and the boundary condition is open 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 okay because we are fully like in metal so the wave will be guide in this wave guide okay so it doesn't matter of the boundary is open all right so now we're going to start simulation the start okay then we click on start Once done the simulation, then we can check on the 1D, which are on the S parameter result. So we can click on the top frequency. Okay, so from here we can click on the curve and then we can click double click on here. We can check on the top frequency, it should be around negative 3. Okay, so it's near to negative 3 here. Okay, and then we can check on the VSWR. Okay, it's near to 1, that means good. And then the reference impedance so it's like if you check on like 10 gigahertz here it's like 498 so we can do some calculation how to get this result okay at, at the meanwhile we can just go and component here we set the frequency for e simulation e few simulation so few monitor e few then we can check on time then we can simulate as like five okay so apply then start. okay at the meanwhile we can check on the impedance okay so i will show you how to calculate this so from the calculation you can view here is like the impedance for te10 mode the impedance is 500 near to 500 the, this is the cutoff frequency and here is the desired frequency that we set it's like 10 giga here so you can see it's near to 500 and how are we going to get like 1, 2, 0 pi? That means actually is the A impedance A. So for impedance for A, right, is 3, 7, 7 ohm. Okay. So when you convert it, like, become like 120 pi ohm, you actually can get the same value. Okay. Just fact out. All right. So this is how we calculate for impedance. How about cutoff frequency? So cutoff frequency will be something like here. Okay, so we have the frequency like this. So we get the cutoff frequency is like 6.56 gigahertz. And here is the formula for cutoff frequency. The cutoff frequency will be like 1 divided by 2 A, the length, divided by the permeability and permittivity of the material field in the waveguide. That means our waveguide now is hollow. So you can see here. Is hollow that means it's like a so our so that means our mu permeability is equal to one and the a for the epsilon will be one as well okay however so square root permeability and this is expand it you will have like mu absolute mu and epsilon absolute epsilon and er here so we will have square root all right so both of this is a constant value when you have like one divided with epsilon epsilon mu and epsilon epsilon then you will get like three times rate 10 power of eight okay so this one will be equal to speed of light that's why you will have the c over here okay so how we're going to do this is like f cut off here okay so now we have the c of frequency and the m and n so m and n is here m and n is one and zero so we will have one over two so we know is here will be the c and the cut off here will be one divided by a power two plus with 0 divided by b power 2 all right 
so then we will have like c equal to divide with 2 and our a will be 1 over a over 2 then we simplify it we will get c over 2a okay so this one will be our cut off frequency for 1 0 so this one is we will get this formula okay so from this formula then we put our value a here to the formula then we can get 6.56 gigahertz for the cutoff frequency that's why in our simulation we have the cutoff frequency is the negative 3 db is near to 6.56 then now we have done the simulation for e field so we can go to like 2d here check on the e field yeah you can run it by non-transparent and you can choose like contour and animate then you can make it like here okay and the maximum for the if you is 66 so that's all for wr90 rectangular wave design okay so thank you